The fast-spreading strain of the virus from the UK is leaping across the English Channel and spreading across the world. This has caused panic and a legitimate question for the drug makers to answer. Can the new vaccines take on this mutation? At least four drug makers are positive that their vaccines will be effective against the new fast-spreading variant. This list includes Pfizer-BioNTech, Moderna, CureVac and AstraZeneca. Out of these, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines have already started being administered across various countries. Studies are underway to test the efficacy of the vaccines against this new strain of the virus. And within the next two weeks, the picture is likely to become clearer. However, this is not the first time that the virus has mutated. And while both Pfizer and Moderna have found their vaccines to be effective against other variations of the virus, they are positive about their efficacy in this mutation as well. An international alarm has been raised over the new strain. It is believed that it could be up to 70% more transmissible, but likely to not be more lethal. A new mutant variant of that virus continuing to wreak havoc, leading to a surge in fresh cases. In the last 24 hours, the UK recorded over 36,000 new infections. That's a record daily spike, while 691 people died the same day. Over 2 million people in the UK have contracted the infection over the past year, and more than 68,000 people have lost their lives more extensive with the virus that can transmit a bit more Britain extensive. recently reported the presence of this mutated highly transmissible coronavirus variant this strain reportedly is 70% more transmissible than the other strains cases are rising mostly in London the southeast and east of England in the wake of the spike, the UK has enforced stricter restrictions. In England, large areas of the southeast are now under new higher tier 4 measures. For tier 4 regions, no restrictions will be eased for Christmas. Reports say that the Boris Johnson administration is considering locking more of England down to slow down the spread. The new variant and its transmission capability has raised alerts across the world. Nearly 40 countries have now banned travel from the UK. And earlier we spoke to our correspondent, Oli Barat, who's been tracking the very latest in London, sent us this report. Take a look. It's a very real possibility and we may hear an update from the UK government as early as today about all of this. Some reports in the British media that further parts of England will enter tier four restrictions on boxing. Day, the day after Christmas. So we await updates from the government on that. There are also calls in some quarters for all of England to re-enter a national lockdown. But one of the things that's really worrying the government and uh, the government's scientists that advise it is how quickly this new variant has been spreading not only in London and the southeast and parts of uh, eastern England, but also now in some of those areas which are next to parts of the country that have already gone into tier four. Um, uh, government ministers are getting incredibly worried about the spread in some of those areas near to London, near to uh, the southeast of England, and they want to try and keep that spread intact and as localised as possible, given how quickly this uh, new variant does appear to spread, does appear to be transmissible. The experts are still looking at the data on that and trying to work out uh, exactly what the situation is. What they don't want to do is jump to any conclusions. The UK does have uh, a very large genomic surveillance capability. That's part of the reason that this new variant was uh, spotted here in the UK earlier than perhaps in some other countries. Uh, experts are now poring over all of the data that's coming in. They're sharing that data with international allies at the World Health Organization uh, and elsewhere as well. And scientists are trying to uh, w work out exactly how this variant spreads and whether indeed, as you say, it is more transmissible among children than previous 
uh, variants of COVID-19. And that is perhaps why in recent days, government ministers and Prime Minister Boris Johnson as well have seemed reluctant to confirm that school children in England would return at the start of term, which is due after Christmas in January. It may well be that uh, the start of term is delayed for some pupils, if indeed scientists, when they continue to look at the data, do come to the conclusion that this new variant is spreading more quickly among children and, sc- and, and school-aged children than previous variants had been. But we're not quite there yet.